How is a heart attack diagnosed? A heart attack is diagnosed on the basis of evaluating the patient's symptoms, changes in the electrocardiogram, ECG, blood tests. Typically, a heart attack is associated with symptoms of severe chest pain, lasting for more than 15 minutes, that can spread to the neck, jaw, arms, or through to the upper back. It is usually, but not always, associated with sweating, breathlessness, nausea and or vomiting, burping, or a feeling of indigestion. Occasionally, heart attacks are silent, producing no symptoms, and are discovered only when other investigations are performed at routine medicals, or when patients present with other symptoms. The electrocardiogram looks at the electrical activity produced by the heart muscle contracting. A heart attack produces a characteristic series of changes on the ECG. These changes do not always occur immediately, and in some patients it can initially be difficult to see a difference from the changes seen with anginal symptoms. Blood tests are used to confirm the diagnosis of a heart attack. When the heart muscle is damaged, it releases certain chemicals into the bloodstream. These chemicals, known as cardiac enzymes, are usually found only in small amounts in the blood. After a heart attack, larger amounts can be detected, often for several days. The levels can be measured from a series of blood tests taken over a period of time.